Hello, hello, hello. I am just jumping on really quickly because I was driving and I noticed that there were so many people who were smoking and it got me thinking, and this is not about, this is not a video about smoking necessarily. This is just a video about habits and choices and decisions. And what I was thinking was there are so many people smoking every day. You go to the store and you see more people in line with unhealthy foods in their cart. You go to an airport or a food court and more people are in line for the crappy foods. More people are in line for the fast foods, the quick grab and goes. More people are shopping for the things that aren't actually serving their body. And I'm wondering, why are we killing ourselves slowly? Why do we live in a society that promotes this? And to be honest, why do you allow yourself to make these decisions? Because ultimately, the decision is up to you. So the reason why I'm getting heated about this is because I'm driving and I see so many people smoking. And the other day I was in um, like a food court area. So many people in line for the unhealthy foods when not even like a couple feet away, there was a healthier decision. And it blows my mind because I find that a lot of times the same people will preach about how the smoking and the pot, even if you want to talk about, we don't even need to bring that up, but smoking, drinking, all this stuff isn't necessarily great for you. And it kills me because, oh, okay, George says we live in a society that promotes speed. We do. And the great thing about that is that you can even now get healthier versions of fast food. Granted, they're not going to be the best quality ingredients all the time, but we can make healthier decisions, smarter decisions. And that's why it blows my mind because people... We are killing, like, if you are making decisions which are not serving you, that are fueling your body improperly, fueling your body with things that don't serve it, you are killing yourself slowly. Yes, you can have a few things in moderation. Yes, that's fine. Yes, you're not going to die from one bad meal, just like you're not going to get healthy from a great meal. But here's the deal. It's consistency and it's behaviors and habits. And if we don't have the proper habits, we don't have the proper behaviors, then we are forming this lifestyle which doesn't serve us and is slowly killing us. What you put in your body, what you put on your body, what you are constantly fueling your mind with, all of this matters. Stress can kill you. Negativity can kill you. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty details of it, if you think about how we speak to ourselves, even that can eat away at us because when you look at like things like blood pressure, when you look at things like anxiety, depression, these are things that can kill people and we fuel it by focusing on the things that don't serve us. George says most people need to learn how to cook. LOL, it's fun seeing you rant. I needed this. <laughs> it's so fun for me, but it's more like because I don't understand how we can do this to ourselves. But yes, I need to learn how to cook myself. But I still make it happen. I still feel my body. Rita says I feel the same way seeing what is fed to my grandkids. Now, I still smoke, but that'll change in the near future. See, absolutely. So Here's the thing. What I, I saw this picture a long time ago that was like a picture of plants with water being poured on them and then a picture of children with like co- like a Coca-Cola bottle being handed to them. And I was like, yeah, why do we... <laughs> we are so concerned about our environment, about the ecosystem and all this. And then we go and sit down and we fuel our bodies with some crap. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Stop. And I can't even say stop. But the thing that I can say is start. Start changing your behaviors. There are things called behavior modification plans. And not a lot of people know about them. Not a lot of people teach them, talk about them, whatever. But I love them. When I learned about behavior modification planning, it was one of my favorite things to do because it doesn't just look at the one aspect. It looks at everything as a whole because you are a whole being and it seems as though the fitness industry tends to leave out the fact that you are indeed worthy of the whole entire dimension of well-being the whole entire aspect of who you are as a human and it matters you matter you are more than that you're worth more than that so behavior modification planning really really cool really really fun 
if you're interested in seeing what that's like, what behavior modification planning is, how to create a behavior modification plan, then comment below and say BMP, or you could just say yes, that's probably easier. Just say yes. <laughs> I just get excited by acronyms. No, but just comment yes below and I can see how I can work something out to kind of show you guys an example, but this is something that I teach at my membership site and you can still get into my membership site for $9.70 for a whole week, all access pass to over four months worth of material. I'm not even joking, over four months worth of material. So get on it now because it's my birthday special and I feel like you guys are all special too. So make sure you get on on that. Um, if you click my profile picture, the link is there or you can just ask me for it via messenger. Anyways, I'm really excited that I can always come to you guys and share this, but I want you to be more conscious of your decision making. Is it serving you? Is it fueling you properly? Is it taking you where you want to go? If your higher self, your best identity, your most successful identity, your most fit, healthy, confident version of yourself wouldn't make that decision, I have to question, why would you? Always think of your big picture. Always think of that next level version of you. Ask yourself, what would this version of me be doing right now today? If the answer is not what you're currently doing, then do whatever that answer was, right? Whatever that big picture version of you, that next level identity would be doing, do that thing. And by default, you will land there. You will absolutely land there. So thanks y'all for watching. <laughs> Great sharing with you guys. Great jumping on. Now I'm getting hot in this jacket. <laughs> so I'm going to go outside. It's pretty cold in California. How strange is that? <laughs> Anyways, see you guys soon. Bye.